So we found the reason why the pumpkins aren't growing. The person in charge of standing on the back of the drill to tell us when it was empty uh, is obviously blind. So when we come to get the drill out now, we found that there's still a load of seed left in the bottom of the drill and a load of fertilizer left. So a different cameraman today. Are we on now day 94 or something? Um, we're just trying to find out which pipes do which pumps on the drill so that we can um, block every third one off. We've such patch up the sweet corn, so I'm blowing her down the tubes at the top, the spider's distribution head. And then Nathan's at the bottom, dealing where the air's coming from so we know which is which and we're numbering them all because it makes it easier when we get blocked about in the field. Right, 33. 33. No? No. Um, project New Drain continues. It's been really uh, loud this morning though because we've been having um, the source storing all the concrete and now, now James is over there with the, the little digger of his chipping up the concrete with, with a jackhammer, hydraulic hammer and it's, uh, it's really loud and we don't want to disturb the people who are working in the offices and also we've got um, a moisture meter clinic where people are coming Checking the moisture meters ready for harvest for the red tractor assurance. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And that's uh, so the people coming. That was a force all day, and they can hardly hear it themselves speak because that's going to the other side of that tractor there now. Um, if I back up a bit further, you'll see. There you go in there. Them tables are there. So they come every every half an hour, and then they check the moisture meter. So I'll show you a bit more in detail. But I'm just building this wall here out of this straw. So I'll put like that and staggered it so that it stops the noise it's quite good at sound deadening straw just up in the corn drill now blocking up some of the spouts because we're going to patch up the sweet corn but i want it on wider rows so i'm going to block every third ev sorry two rows between every other one so it's only going to sow out of three rows no it's only going to sow out of 33 percent of the rows rather than 36 it's going to only going to sow 12 the moisture meter thing that was down there is gone now. I didn't get a better picture of it or a video. But everyone's basically come and tested their calibration and calibrated their meter against a known set of samples so that everything's okay for, for the red tractor inspection, which is the quality assurance standard that most farms in the UK grow to. So I'll get these put in. I've numbered all my pipes so we know which is which. And we know which ones it corresponds to down there, which was a bigger job than we thought because the uh, this distribution head feeds this side of the drill and that one feeds that side. So some are going to the front cultures and some are going to the back cultures and they were just amazed. Another random job, uh, moving some trees from outside an Italian restaurant so that they can put the tables and chairs outside and keep them reopen. So Adam and Charlotte have just been to pick them up from uh, Liverpool. They've uh, even come complete with fairy lights as well, which is a, which is a bonus. So they've just been on the fast track again on the mail Anyway, I've finished this now. I've, I've blocked them all up for sort of 12. So I'm just checking on my list that I've blocked the right ones up so we don't end up with too wide a gap. Then I can put the, the head back on now because the seed blows up here and then goes down the tubes. So I need to put the cover back on. Like so. And then uh, the seed then will blow up down the tubes and go down there to where we want it to be. Uh, last time we were in this field, it was the uh, 2nd of May, so that's about eight weeks ago now. Uh, we drilled some sweet corn. It's basically not really come. There's just weeds and different things which we can get rid of. Uh, we're now patching up now with different seed. Uh, it looks to be a bit better seed. It's got a lot, it's a lot bigger grains. I'll show you some bags of them in a minute. Uh, different variety over there seem to do a little bit better and it has actually grown so we used a different drill this time we were trying to get all the precision drill but everyone was busy but it basically um, we blocked every third row so we're just putting it in different rows we're not drilling it quite as deep so it gets up and away a bit quicker uh, there is a few grown um, I mean it, there's one here for instance and there's a particularly juicy one now so as long as the tractor doesn't run over it I'm hoping that the uh, if there's a boot next to it as long as the tractor doesn't drive over it, that, that should be okay and, and still carry on growing. And it'll come ripe at a different time. 
So we're going to sort of patch up the end of the field here, about five or six acres, and, and see what comes with this this newer seed. And the varieties over there do do seem a, a bit a bit better. If you can see back there. So see how we get on. It's going to get watered in anyway, which will help because the last lot didn't get any rain at all for the first sort of six weeks of its life, and that probably didn't help. And it got a frost. Two different varieties, so we've got the, the thicker seed and the bigger seed in the back hopper, the meat system, and the smaller one in the front. So we've got to set the drill differently. Yeah. Different because one seed weighs more than the other one, and this sows by weight and volume so that we can make sure. That, um, we both run out of seed at the same time, is the plan. And then there's the varieties will be in six metre strips. So we'll have three metres from this side of the drill, three metres from that side of the drill. But because we're going up and down the field, we should end up with uh, six metres of one variety next to six metres of the other variety. Is the plan anyway. This bag's got 10,000 seeds in. And that bag, right down there, has got 10,000 in. The difference in the seeds, unbelievable. Project Strain, it's like the Channel Tunnel. Go underneath these pipes here, underneath that duct, there's a water main underneath as well. In through that hole, into the old block manhole. Just put some ash over the top of the pipe for the boiler and some pipe bedding around the two pipes put in and now I've just got some crushed stone that we made yesterday to go on top of it all to fill the hole back in. And then we'll concrete at a later date when it's settled, I think. So what? Well, so don't trip it down the old grid. This is what happens when Andrew doesn't clean the mixer out. I think it's time to put another shrimp on the barbie and that'll do for today. See you all tomorrow.